Greetings, Tomasio here, and I need to like tell you guys what happened today. This was just unbelievable. We had a rally for pro-life. Uh, David Delayden from um, the biomedical ethics. They went into Planned Parenthood and they exposed all the selling of body parts. And now they're trying to say that he's the criminal. Okay. Uh, so today everybody went out to Planned Parenthood, who is in support of uh, David Delayden. And um, I went out to uh, Greensburg, Planned Parenthood, Greensburg, PA. And I got there. There's no one there. I'm supposed to start at 9. I get there. There's nobody there. Okay. So we have the primary Tuesday in Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm supporting Donald Trump for, you know, obvious reasons. And if you still don't know those reasons, just, I don't know, go to Catholics for Trump on Facebook and, and find out. I mean, if you at this point still aren't sure um, that Donald Trump is right for America, then go to Catholics for Trump page. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but anyway, I'm convinced that Trump is um, sincere and that he wants to help America and he is pro-life and he wants to help, you know, fight abortion and put good Supreme Court justice and hopefully end abortion, at least the ones that are not for rape or incest or the life of the mother. That's what he's saying. And uh, trust me, if anybody will do it, it's him. Uh, but I can't guarantee that. But anyway, that's the hunch I have. But nonetheless, he's going to protect Christianity. He's going to protect our country from ISIS. And um, he wants to give back. He's been blessed. He wants to give back. But anyway, so I put a couple Trump signs out on the major highway, Route 30 in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, the primaries Tuesday. Trump says he's pro-life. This is a Planned Parenthood, anti, anti Planned Parenthood. He said, I'll defund Planned Parenthood as long as they do abortions. And so, what are we doing? I'm just there by myself. And then there's a bus there of St. Vincent College students who are, they see the Trump sign and they go nuts. And next thing you know, I gave out about 10 to 15 Trump signs. And, um, you know, they were all excited about Trump. Okay. So, in the meantime, uh, I'm waiting for people to come, and I didn't have any pro-life signs with me that um, my friend was bringing them out, so I just was standing on the highway with a Trump sign. So what happens is this woman comes up to me, and uh, she's a Catholic woman, and she says to me, take those Trump signs down. This is a pro-life, anti-Planned Parenthood rally, and they're not appropriate. I said, well, Trump's pro-life and he's anti-Planned Parenthood uh, as long as they're doing abortions. So she said, take those Trump signs down right now. I said, well, what do you have against Trump? She said, I am not going to discuss this with you. I said, well, who are you voting for? And she says, I am not going to discuss this with you. And you're wearing Blessed Mother shirt and this is horrible. I will not stand on the same side of the street as you unless you take those Trump signs down. I, I couldn't even believe it. I just couldn't believe it, okay? Uh, I know this woman, you know, and she came with like five people, and I know all of these people, and they just stayed away from me the entire morning. Unbelievable. They went on the other side of the street, and... It was horrible, you know, and this was a, a Protestant, local Protestant, non-denominational church was holding the rally. And so I hung out with them and spoke to them. We had some uh, wonderful conversations. It was fantastic. But I guess, you know, I'm just what I'm trying to say is it's just horrible, the self-righteousness of so many people. That, you know, Donald Trump is the scum of the earth and how could a, you know, a Catholic ever vote for Trump? I mean, it's just disgusting. I think it's disgusting, actually. 
like, oh, you have to be perfect in order for God to use you. Well, really? Like, since when? Um, we're all sinners, you know? But anyway, why am I sharing? I'm sharing this because this is going on too much. It's There's so much hypocrisy in the Catholic Church. And I'm going to call out the Catholic Church on this because, you know, there's a lot of Catholics who they don't really get involved in just about anything, okay? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the Catholics who claim that they're the true Catholics. You know, there's Jews that claim they're the true Jews too, right? Well, there's Catholics that claim they're the true Catholics. They know everything, and whatever they think and say is right and true and um, ordained of God. Well, I'm here to say that these people disgust me. They disgust me because they don't know Scripture. Jesus said, I can get stones to call my name if I want. So that means he can get Donald Trump to call his name. And, and he's used uh, King Cyrus and Nebuchadnezzar in the Old Testament to, uh, to do his work. God's much bigger than we are. So anyway, if you happen to be one of these self-righteous Catholics who you're just too good to vote for Donald Trump, um. I feel really sorry for you. I really, really do. You know, because when I look in the mirror, I know that I'm also a sinner. Okay? And, you know, I'm sorry for my sins. Now, I don't see Trump out there promoting sin. I really don't. Has he sinned? Yes. But he's not out there saying, let's sin, or I'm going to go cheat on my wife, or, you know... I'm pro-choice. No, he's not saying that at all. He really isn't. And he's trying to serve and help. So, wake up. That's all I can say is just wake up. I, I don't know what else to say. Pray. Pray to the Blessed Mother. Ask her for the gift of humility. And, you know, overcome the self-righteousness because clearly God resists the proud. He does. He does. 